Hi friends, this is Anto. Through this video, I am going to help you to understand Java transformation in Informatica. In Informatica, we had to have provided us the Java transformation to implement some business logic which may if, which may if, if we want to implement those logic using Informatica, the mapping may be very complex. But that logic can be implemented by Java port easily. That's why Informatica provided this transformation so that we can we can develop some logic using Java code also. So for this demonstration, I have one table where for each student it's marks for three subjects are kept in single row now we are going to convert it into the into the three different rows each one will contain the marks of each for a single subject only so basically we are going to convert going to implement normal IR transformation using java code java code so first create the source and target definition I have already created those so I am using that so first create mapping give a mapping name then drag and drop the source and targets and in between of these two create a java transformation now from here if, if I have the shortcut for java transformation so Java transformation can be two type, one is passive, one is active. So we have to decide first whether your transformation is active one or passive one. So in our cases it is, it is active one because for one row it is it will be converted to three rows. So I am selecting active one. But keep remember that if you select active one you cannot revert it to passive one after that so first decide whether your transformation is active one or passive one click ok now go to the java transformation create the input and output in our input we have role name in this mathematics and creates these five ports so i am creating five input port output port in output we have four ports so I am creating four ports first one is our roll number which is decimal and we have name created now we have to create java code so we have different tabs are there for different purpose we are input we can import package from java class 
you can decide when this code will be triggered so here to have their own input row and one in the end of the data you write down your code on this step then for each and every row this code will be executed so in our cases this is our mm, we need need to execute our java code on for each and every row so here selecting this, this type we are going to write down the our code in this type so nothing i am just going to create a loop I have selected i less than 3 because for each row we will create 3 row, 3 different rows that's why I have selected the loop to be executed 3 times now for each cycle roll number and name will be same so providing it, assigning here that output rule number equal to input rule number and output name equals to input name now if for fast cycle our subject will be English and marks will be uh, value of english column for second side our, our subject will be math and column will be um, marks will be marks present in math column in this way here i am going to create some if else block if just to zero then our output subject to the English and our marks equal to marks present in our input in this column now I'll see If I test two or one, then our subject equal to mathematics. This is double quote. and our marks equal to value contains in mathematics column else means i equal to 2 then our subject equal to into value present in a school
Now, for each cycle, you do regenerate. So there is one inbuilt function called generate. So for each cycle, a new row will be generated. Now compile this. If, if any error occurs, it will show the error. So then may have been some syntactical mistake. Need to find out that. And here it is. Still there are some issues. Semicolon is expected, but some are even missed it. Oh, actually, these are actually case sensitive, so if it's small. Now compile. So Java code is compiled successfully. They apply. Okay. Now connect our input and output ports. Save it. And go to workflow. Create a workflow. Create a session. And provide connection information and some that schema name, etc., etc. Now save it and execute the workflow. So here it is actually executing. Yeah. See, for 5 tools, 15, 15 records are inserted in the target table. So go to the database, you can cross validate it. So for this 5 records. This pre records has been inserted. So, in this way, you can provide your own Java code project in Java transformation and 
you can easily implement it implement your complex logic using java thanks for watching